In socials, do you dance with beginners? Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Rasa the Dancer is here and today I'm here in support of beginners. <laughs> now listen, it is a real topic, we all start somewhere and then we go off getting a little bit better and then maybe even better. Some of us are advanced dancers and we end up dancing in socials for hours everywhere in different social nights, different cities, different countries, different festivals and sometimes, sometimes we forget about the beginners, what it felt like, what is it to be a beginner, and we forget to dance with them as often as we should. So in this video, I'm going to remind you why it's important to dance with beginners. Some of it is a little bit more on an emotional side, but some of it is actually very important that you might have not thought of. So without further ado, let me tell you why it's important to dance with beginners. Okay, so let's start with the point that is the most obvious and it's what I already slightly mentioned is the fact that we all started somewhere. I want to always remind beginners, especially when they're starting, they always, you know, look at the good dancers and they come and they, they might think maybe they're not natural in dancing and like, oh, we'll never be like this, da, 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 da. And I always try to remind them everybody started somewhere. The progress that you see here, people dancing this amazing, it means they've been dancing dancing years. It's just about commitment. If you're enjoying it and you, you want to be part of the scene, don't worry. It's just a matter of time practicing and then years later, you would be that person that somebody else pointing out at. But something happens. Years do go by. We do get better. We get sometimes obsessed with the dancing techniques, this and that. We want to improve. We want to dance with the best dancers out there because, of course, you get a different satisfaction, right? Everything that you learn, you can practice. Everything is happening. You get a different satisfaction. I get it. And somewhere along the line, if we forget about beginners, so you have to remember when you have started how amazing it would be when somebody who's a little bit more experienced would ask you to dance. Of course, we should dance with anybody at any point. You know, you don't have to dance with just beginners. But now and then, you know, when you're in a social and you see somebody in the corner there and you see they kind of just, you know, wobbling around side to side, you know, trying to remember the basic step, ask them to dance. You know, usually beginners, you know yourself because you were once beginner yourself. You do a class and usually you run away very, very soon because you don't have enough material to practice. You don't have enough confidence to dance with other people. You think, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll just keep on learning and when I'm ready. So to keep them on the dance floor, to make them practice is such a good thing. And of course, for them, it's like the dance of their night. And then they leave hyped up and everything and they want to come back and it's just you making their day. So remember when you were a beginner, how nice it would be when somebody better asked you to dance and try to keep that a little bit in your heart so you could give to somebody else. Now on completely other note, um, beginners is bread and butter for most of promoters, okay? Now, if you're going to this once a month party or something, you know, they have a lot of people, the mostly advanced dancers or like improved intermediate advanced people who already started dancing and they're there. So the beginners is nice for them, but it's, it's more about new people coming through the door rather than beginners. But if you go to your regular classes, beginners are bread and butter, you know? It's the people who will grow the night and imagine if there would be no beginners coming through the door and then you know half of the people go somewhere to a festival suddenly there's no other people or even if the people who are always there you know they go getting better or whatever and then they leave and then who's gonna support the night then and it's, it's one of those things so if you really about community the dance community and not just dance community for yourself to have a good time but the, for the whole community to always be there and you know next generations to come it is about the beginners so <laughs> please do us a favor and ask a beginner to dance you know what i mean so it's, it's bread and butter 
for a lot of nights. So when you go out of your way and you ask a beginner to dance and you make them feel welcomed in the night and not like that you cool people are all together and they don't really belong to this place, you're actually helping the promoter, you helping your regular classes and of course you're helping on a greater scale the community so it's important to think about that too okay and this last point um is for my advanced dancers so some of the advanced dancers mostly this is for leaders but it, it works for the followers as well it's for the followers as well advanced dancers are like oh we are advanced we are advanced then you ask a beginner to dance and you cannot leave anything. Nothing happens, right? Suddenly, oh my God, you know, I cannot dance with this beginner because it's a beginner. But no, that means you cannot lead or you cannot follow, okay? It's slightly different with the followers because of course, if they dance with the absolute beginner, you know, it's only gonna be a few steps. So it is what it is, right? But if you are a leader, oh my God, the amount of examples I have when an advanced leader asks a beginner to dance and they start doing these weird things, you don't know how to adapt to the person anymore. You like, you know, trying all these weird combinations. You have no memory of any basic step. You don't know how to actually lead somebody. You know, you know you are a great leader when you can lead beginners and improvers into nice, interesting things, but quite smooth and basic and make the dance awesome. If you cannot do that with the lower level dancers, you are not an advanced dancer. You're just somebody who has advanced combinations and if you're dancing with somebody great, everything works out. But the greatest testament if you can lead, if you ask somebody of the lower level and you can still make the magic happen. And for the followers, as I say, if it's an absolute beginner who asked you to dance, it's slightly different, you know, because it's going to be very basic. But if you're dancing with just lower level dancers, this is a good testament whether you are a good dancer as well, a good follower. Oh, I can't follow anything. No, you, you are not a good follower if you can only follow advanced dancers. Okay, so that was my final point. It's a good way to test your skills, whether you're actually a good leader and a follower, if you dance with beginners. Thank you so much for watching. I love dancing with beginners because for me, what ticks me is to see the smile on their face. I love the fact that they are still very innocent <laughs> and they're so grateful when I dance with them. It warms my heart and that's why I love to dance with them. Now, leave a comment if I miss something out. Why is it good to dance with beginners? If I haven't mentioned something and you think it's important, leave a comment, let everybody see and we can read it and explore it. And in the meantime, I'm going to leave you guys with other videos about dance community. Make sure you check them out and of course, subscribe to this channel. Let's grow together. This channel is for you. So let's keep pushing forward. Choo, choo, choo. And on that note, guys, I will say goodbye. Mwah.